on your Algebra 1 test, Chapter 9. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and get started here. I hope my computer will get going here. Come on now. Okay, so find the summer difference here. So here we go. we got a couple of problems here. We'll tackle this one first. We've got uh, 2x cubed plus 8 plus some more stuff here. All right, there's nothing in front of these parentheses, so we can drop these right here. And when there's just a plus sign, you can drop those excuse me, parentheses as well. Sorry, I'm just I'm drinking a uh, glass of water. Anyways, now we can combine all the like terms right here. So I'm going to combine uh, my x cubes. I'm going to combine my constant 8 and 5 right there. So when I combine all the like terms right there, uh, I get negative x cubed plus 7x plus 3. Okay, that's the answer. Okay, I didn't circle the answers on this lesson. Oh, maybe I did. I don't think I did on the rest of them. Okay, on this next one here, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I've got to distribute this negative through. So um, uh, negative 4x squared, and then it's going to be minus a minus x, which becomes a plus x. And again, minus a minus 9 becomes a plus 9. Then we can combine all like like terms, the x squareds and the 9s and 2s, and, and we should get that as our answer right there. Okay. All right, so find the product, you guys. We're going to go ahead and multiply. So we can foil these out if you want, you guys, or you can recognize... Uh, uh, when you have conjugates of each other, conjugates are the same binomial, x plus y and x minus y. That's x minus y, that's x plus y. Then you just square the x and square the y and subtract them. So here we have 7x minus 3, 7x plus 3. They're the same binomial except one has a plus, one has a minus. All we got to do is square the first one and square the second one. And then so 7x squared is 49x squared, then minus 9. Okay, do that with this one. Okay, here we got the conjugates again, so just square them, you guys, and subtract. Okay, there's your answer, 64 minus 81, x to the fourth. It's x to the fourth because I multiply these uh, 2 times 2. Okay, so 9 squared, this 9 is being squared, and x squared is also being squared, so powers raised to powers, we, we multiply those powers. Okay, easy enough. Okay, here, you guys, don't make the common error on just making an x squared plus 13, you got, or plus 169, that's what 13 squared is. You have to write it twice and foil it out, you guys. So here it is, all foiled out right there, and then combine like terms, and there's our final answer right there. All right, okay, now this one here, we're going to distribute the... Uh, this 2x through, and I forgot, I did, I did them in colors, I forgot what colors I did, I know I did red and blue, uh, oops, I did the 2x in blue, so I put the 2x through, so this times 2x, this times 2x, this times 2x, is all this blue stuff, and then I did multiply this times negative 1, this times negative 1, this times negative 1, that's all, it's red stuff here, and then we can combine like terms, and uh, there's our answer right there, okay? All right, so let's divide, you guys. Okay, here's the first one. We've got a trinomial divided by a monomial. All right, when you're dividing by a monomial, you guys, a lot of kids want to do long division on this. Uh, you don't have to. In fact, it's, it's faster and more efficient if you just put that monomial under each term here. So put this negative 5x under this, under this, under this, and then start canceling, you guys. So um, here, uh, this 1x took away one of these. There's two left. And then negative 5 goes into negative 5 once. It goes into 25 negative 5 times. Negative 5 goes into 15 uh, three times, okay? But this was a, a minus sign right here, so it changed it to a plus, okay? It was this minus sign right here, but this negative, this negative 5, changed that to a plus. So this is going to be plus 3x. It took away one of the x's. Here the x is canceled. Negative 5 goes into 30, negative 6 times. Okay, so clean it all up. You should get that as your answer right there. All right, so uh, this one. This one we're going to do long division, okay? So here we go. So here, if you, if I'm up at the board, you guys, I would, I would say left finger, this would be my left finger right here. Left finger times what would get me right finger? And I'd have my left finger on that, my right finger on that. So x times what gives us x squared? Well, x times x gives us x squared right there. Okay, do you see that? And then we multiply that top x right there times that whole binomial, x minus 2. Okay, that's what comes out here. So here's, here's x times x is x squared. Here's x times minus 2 is minus 2x. All right, and then I really emphasized parentheses and subtract. So we're going to go ahead and subtract. x squared minus x squared cancels. 7x minus a minus 2x becomes 7x plus 2x, so we get 9x, okay? Then we slide down uh, the negative 2, <clears throat> so there it is, slid down right there. Then I go up to the board again, and I say, left finger, so I'm putting my left finger right here, times what will give me right finger, and I have right finger right there. So x times what will get me a, a positive 9, 
and suppose uh, 9x, I mean, so um, 9 will, okay, and it's a plus 9 because it's positive, okay? So we're going to go ahead and uh, put that plus 9 right there, and then we're going to do this again. We're going to multiply 9 times x and times negative 2. So there it is right there, okay? And then parentheses, subtract, okay? 9x minus 9x, those cancel right there, and then negative 2 minus a minus 18 is negative 2 plus 18, which is 16. Okay, so now how we write this answer is we start at the top up here, start at the top, and we go clockwise. So, so it's x plus 9 plus the remainder over what we were dividing by. So x plus 9 plus 16 over x minus 2. That's the answer right there. All right, let's try it with this one right here. Okay, now this one here, I'm not going to write it as 3 plus 3x. Three I'm going to write this as 3x plus 3 on the outside. And here... Uh, it goes from 3x squared. There is no x in there, so we have to insert a 0x right there. So I've got to put a 0x in there because it'll appear after my first uh, division when I uh, put the number up here and I multiply that through right there. Uh, the x term will appear and you need it in there for the spacing. Okay, here we go. Left finger times what gets me right finger. Okay, so I have my left finger here, 3x. 3x times what gives us 3x squared. Hopefully you guys know it's x right there, okay? And then we go ahead and multiply that x times the 3x and times the 3. Parentheses, subtract, okay? All right, so then we're going to go ahead and subtract. 0 minus 3x is negative 3x. Then we slide down the next number, okay? And then I do it again. Left finger times what gets me right finger? 3x times what gets me negative 3x? Well, 3x times negative 1. So we're going to put a negative 1. Multiply that, so I did multiply negative 1 times 3 also, so that's where I got this minus 3. I just didn't draw the uh, negative 1 times 3x and the negative 1 times 3, but that's what this is right here. Parentheses, subtract, okay? There we go. And so there's our remainder of 1, so the answer is we start at the top, x minus 1, and then we go clockwise, plus the remainder over what we were dividing by. That's what this says right here. All right, okay, and then we have... Um, uh, let's see. Solving. So um, uh, let's go ahead and solve these guys. So 6x squared plus 42x equals 0. And then we'll, t we'll deal with this one in just a second. So here we're going to GCF out a 6x. 6 goes into 42 and x goes into x squared and x. So we're going to GCF out a 6x. Now we got it factored. So now we can set the factors equal to 0 and then go ahead and solve. Okay. So divide by 6 on this one. Okay. So in 0 divided by anything is 0. Okay, this one we subtract 7 on both sides, so we get uh, 0 or negative 7. Okay, over here I'm going to flip these guys around. It's called the symmetric property because I like to have the squared term on the left right there. So I'm going to go ahead and flip them around. There we go. That's called the symmetric property. You can just flip them around the equal sign. Okay, and there's a couple of ways, two or three correct ways to do this, but I, I want to be consistent with this one. So let's make it equal to 0. So we're going to subtract 25x on both sides. Okay, and so we get 10x squared minus 25x equals 0. Now it looks just like this. Now we can GCF out a 5x out of that. Okay, so we pull a 5x out, then we can set those factors equal to 0. And then we go ahead and solve, and we get 0 or 5 halves. Okay, all right. Hey, wasn't that a cool video? Wasn't that super cool? Go ahead and click like, because I know you want to. Take care.